shook her head up and down. She nodded. Yes. She did. Within minutes, Joan was rushed to the hospital, and police began looking for Christopher. The Marines want to question one of their two sons, Christopher, a student at the University of Rochester. More than 200 miles away, Christopher Porco says he didn't know police wanted to talk to him. He says he was sitting in his dorm when he got a phone call from a local reporter. Um, and she you know, asked me if I had any comment on um, the parents being killed. Uh, and, uh, I kind of dropped the phone and was uh, completely shocked and in disbelief. I called the Bethlehem Police Department. Hi, uh, my name is Chris Porco. I was just called by the Times Union saying that my parents were found dead this afternoon. Um, I was wondering if you had any information. Hey, Chris, my dad, how are you? And the woman on the phone said that she couldn't tell me anything, but they were calling back. So I sat in my room and waited. Within the hour, police confirmed his father was dead. Um, my father was a fumbling, wonderful man. Family came first, always. He loved his job, but he always managed to be around for my brother and I. Christopher's brother, Jonathan, learned the devastating news at his Navy base in South Carolina as an uncle rushed Christopher to the hospital where he was eventually allowed to see his mother. You know, I saw her and she was swollen and covered in tubes and my reaction was, you know, I, I burst into tears and fell on the floor right there. As Joan underwent emergency surgery, Christopher agreed to go to the police station where he was questioned for six hours. I wanted to be as helpful as I could. I knew that in cases like this, you know, the quicker the better. So I wanted to give them whatever they needed to uh, to figure out who did it. This is a question that people would want me to ask you directly. Did you drive over to your parents' house, go up into their bedroom, attack them with an axe, killing your father and gravely wounding your mother? 